Hello everyone, welcome back to online learning. Today we are going to discuss a coding question related to Deloitte exam preparation. So first we will read out the question. So in the question we are given that given a numeric array with values from 0 to 9, we have to find the smallest possible sum that is represented as a string of two numbers created using the digits of array. The two numbers must together should include all the digits uh, all the digits okay so uh, let me give an uh, let me explain this question with the help of example so what we are, what we are given is we are given an array of uh, numbers in which the uh, numbers is from 1 to 9 uh, 0 to 9 only okay so uh, let's say the array is 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay so we have to find we, first we have to find two numbers a and b such that and we have to include all the digits from this array we cannot exclude any digits so we have to first find out two numbers such a and b such that the sum of these two a and b is as possible as minimum as it is mentioned in the question that the sum uh, we have to find the smallest sum so we have to find the sum that is smallest as possible so what we can do is uh, uh, we can first sort the given array because uh, you know that after sorting the smaller number will be coming to the first one and the and the larger number will be coming to the last one okay so first we will sort the given array so uh, after sorting the array becomes like one two three four and five okay uh, let me also put put the indexes also so you know that the array starts from zero index so zero index one two three and four okay let me clean out some of the things from here okay let me rub out the things okay yeah, so after sorting the array becomes this. So uh, I will take like two temporary string to store this a first number and second number. So first, let's say our first uh, string is, uh, let me, okay. So I will take two strings, a and b, okay. So if the current index is even, then I will include in the first number if the current index is odd then i will include in the second number so uh, here the index is zero which is even so i will include in the first one uh, next the index is one the one is odd so we will include in the second number okay uh, yeah so here the index is two which is even so we will include in the first one uh, index 3 which is odd so we will include in the second one so here the index is 4 which is even so we will include in the first one okay then we will uh, find out the sum so basically 5 plus 4 is 9 uh, 3 plus 2 is 5 and 1 so the minimum possible sum from these numbers is 159 okay so let me uh, give an example that is given in the uh, test case. So here the elements are 0, 8, 5. Sorry, the elements are 6, 8, 5, 4, 2, 3. Yeah, so elements are 6, 8, 5, 4, 2 and 3 okay let me also put uh, okay so what we have discussed we will first sort out the given array so after sorting the array becomes two three four five six and eight okay let me uh, put out the indexes also zero index one index two index three index four index and five index and as i have discussed we will take two string which will store the first and the second number yeah so zero is uh, even we will include in the first one one is odd we will include in the second number uh, uh, two which is even we will include in the first one three which is odd we will include in the second one F uh, index four which is even we will include in the first one and index five which is 
odd we will include in the second one okay then we will find out the sum 8 plus 6 is 14 4 carry 1 5 plus 4 9 and 1 10 0 carry 1 and 3 plus 2 5 and 1 6 so the answer is coming to be 604 and the expected answer is also 604 so this is the uh, approach of this question so let me also describe the step by step process so uh, what we can do is first we will sort out the given uh, digits of the array and then we will take two temporary string to store the first number and the second number and we will check if the current index is even then we will include in the first two, uh, first number and if the current index is odd that will include in the second number okay and then uh, we have to find the sums so for, uh, then we will convert this two string into number to find out the sum and we have to display the sum of these two numbers so let's discuss the time complexity of this uh, approach so we are uh, we are using the sorting here okay and sorting time uh, sorting takes order of n log n times so the time complexity of this solution is order of n log n and the space complexity is order of one uh, we are not using any extra space so let's uh, discuss the code of this solution yeah so i am coding in c plus plus so here is the uh, uh, hash include bits library which i have included here is the main function uh, first we have to take the n as an input that is the number of elements in the array then i have declared as a vector which is also similar to array that is present in c plus plus stl library which is standard template library then we will uh, then i have taken a for loop that will iterate through and that is number of elements then i will take the individual uh, uh, elements as an input then i will push that number to the array so till this step the our array will be created next we have discussed that we have to sort the array so i am using the inbuilt sort function to sort the given array so here is the syntax of the sort function in c plus plus stl okay so you have to write sort then the name of the uh, vector that is arr then we have to find the uh, then the begin iterator that is the first one and the end iterator that is the last one so after this step our array will be sorted this then as discussed we have to take two temporary string so uh, i have named it as a and b and then i have iterated n times and these in this step we have checked if the current index is even even means it, when we divide that number by two we will get zero as a remainder for example 2 is a even because 2 divided by 2 is 0 4 4 divided by 2 is 0 we will get 0 as an element if the current index is 0 then we will take a uh, these uh, these correct but this current digit to our to our first number okay so basically here the arr of i is is a digit which is integer and we, we have to add this to a string so we will convert this uh integer as to a string with the help of two string function so two string function what it does is it will convert from integer to string same if the current index is odd then i will include that digit to a second number okay then as discussed we have to find the sum of two two numbers so we have to convert this string to a integer so i i have used inbuilt sty function which will convert string to integer okay so i have passed sqi of a in num1 it will store the integer representation of string a and num2 in uh, it will store the integer representation of string b okay then we have to find the sum so sum we have uh, declared i have declared a variable sum that will include num1 plus num2 and at the last i have print, uh, print the uh, two string of sum because in the question it is mentioned that we have to display sum represented as a string okay so we will convert this sum which is integer to a string with the help of two string method okay so at, so at the last we will uh, display the uh, sum of uh, these two numbers in represented in a string format so let me run out the code okay uh, let me take this example yeah so six is the number of elements okay six eight five four two three five four two three okay so the expected answer is six zero four which is expected six zero four 
so this is the code of the given uh, problem in c plus plus so the time complexity as we have discussed the time complexity is order of n log n because we are we are using a sorting and the space complexity is order of one so uh, this is the solution of this question if you have any doubts and any question related to the to this question let me know in the comments and uh, if you want the uh, code of this question i will put it in the description so that's it about this video we will meet you in the next video thank you